we've talked about I've talked about Pinterest over and over again, and um, obviously I love the Pinterest. Now they've released um, a new um, tool. They've had a new analytics dashboard um, that is supposed to, I think, entice future advertisers. So what do you think about that, Bob? Have you had a chance to take a look? You know, I have taken a brief look at it. When the story came out a couple of weeks ago, I started to look into it. Um, here's the problem with a lot of marketers out there. And marketers are going to go and say, this is just another dashboard I have to use. When are you going to open up the API so that a company like Sprinkler can take care of this for me? <laughs> And Great I'm idea. Just, sorry, sorry for the shameless plug of Esteban, but you know, here's the facts. I mean, customer the the marketing community they aggregate on a tool and they use that tool and they want that tool to do everything. They don't want yet another dashboard. So this is a stopgap measure. It shows the brands, hey, we've got analytics. We can show you how the effectiveness of your ads are working. We can show you the commerce streams. We can do all those things that you need. But essentially, until they open up the APIs and allow these third-party vendors to come in and provide much more robust analytics, they're really not going to attract the brands to the, the advertising on the site. Yeah, I think that, 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 that this is great news for the small business. So the small business that, you know, is used to seeing analytics on Facebook, is used to seeing, now starting to see some analytics on Twitter ads, uh, they're going to be really excited about this. Even normal users that, you know, for some reason do a little bit more than just personal use on Pinterest, this is fantastic. And the fact that Pinterest is building that analytics infrastructure is good for everyone. Um, but ultimately, yeah, it's going to be about, for big brands, it's going to be about it being integrated on onto platforms like Sprinkler, and we're we're working very closely uh, with Pinterest. So, um, you know, th there'll definitely be an announcement about that. Hmm. So, what is Pinterest? Nobody's listening, Esteban. You can tell us whatever it is that uh, nobody will hear. Yeah, break the embargo there. <laughs> Go ahead, break it. I want to yeah. show that. <laughs> all, all I could say is that we work closely with all of them, and <laughs> and it'll be it'll be good. It'll be it'll be like everything Sprinkler does. It'll be good. That's right. So what does Pinterest need? Where's the opportunity, potentially a missed opportunity with Pinterest right now, now Esteban? The, the, what do you mean by the missed opportunity? Is, is there one? I mean, is there something that Pinterest needs to do to, I don't know, whether it's gain more users or potentially reach out to advertisers better? I mean, what are they not doing that they should be doing? Yeah, I think, I think Pinterest has been smart. They've been careful and, and in a way, it's kind of how Instagram has done it. Tumblr also had a little bit of that approach of being slow and steady and focusing on the experience and then adding analytics and adding advertising opportunities on top of that. I think that is the right way to do it. Um, Pinterest is not as top of mind these days as it was once was, but its users are still very, very much engaged. I, I'm a bit of a crazy Pinterest user and I my brain is on Pinterest is what I like to say. So while the stereotype is that it's women pinning about fashion, uh, <laughs> there's also a, a bunch of geeks pinning about ge geeky things. And there's, you know, people pinning about, you know, horse riding and, and vacations and weddings and uh, yeah, all kinds of things. So, so Pinterest fair. should focus on its audience before it does too much with advertising because the last thing it can, it, it can't afford to alienate that audience that is using it as a utility. Am I following you on Pinterest? Because if I'm not, I'm going to right now. So what do you think? <laughs> I mean, you wanted to jump in there, Bob. What What do you think about Pinterest? I mean, are you a big pinner? Are you pinning on yeah, Pinterest? You know, no, I'm not a big pinner. I, I, you know, I have tried to use the site. It's a hot mess in a lot of ways. Um, you know, I think that it's an it's an interesting tool and it's definitely got value and I won't I won't crap on it. I mean, it's a, it's a good site for what it does. But I, I think... Despite the fact that um, Esteban uses it for his tech geek friends to post stuff about technology, the fact remains, <laughs> the statistics bear out, it is mostly women posting about fashion and a posting about um, there's, a, there's a big recipe community on there. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just like these are the things where Pinterest really shines. And I think Esteban's um, comment about building their audience is exactly right, but I would I would nuance it and say they need to show why this is a useful tool for someone like Esteban or for me. I mean, you know, Esteban has already discovered a little community, a little niche community going on there, but that needs to be much more robust for them to top into the really big brand dollars or else they're just going to be a niche product that's, that's geared by the agencies who have pigeonholed them as being 
female products. So who has the best yeah. opportunity on Pinterest? Is it the small business who's trying to reach a wider audience um, and using Pinterest, like like maybe they're on Etsy now and they want to like expand, which I think a lot of um, small businesses are doing a fairly decent job of that, the ones that get it. Or is it an opportunity for the bigger brands, like, I don't know, the Burberry or, or the Ralph Lauren's who want to reach people and get them to buy immediately? Who's who's the opportunity yeah. for I think it's a it's a, 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 a mix of what you both just said. Bob is completely right. There is a majority audience on Pinterest. He likes hearing he's completely right, don't you, Bob? I'm completely right. <laughs> he loves it. I want you to he say that. that. I want that to be the clip that we play over and over again. <laughs> Bob is completely network. right. Bob is completely right. Bob is completely right. <laughs> Episode 22, Bob is can completely I that right. Be my, can, I, can that be my ringtone? Can you send me that? I need that. Send it on Windows it. format. <laughs> I will. I will practice it, and then it'll come out in the best possible way. Um, but it, be, beyond the fact that that Bob is right, um, well, obviously it means that the brands that have a, a stake in those communities they should be there. I've seen very very small businesses have you know big followings, ten thousand followers, when they're a small location with with a single location in a small town. Um, at the same time, you see companies like Etsy that are driving a lot of traffic. Uh, Whole Foods could benefit, right? There's 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 a certain group of brands, and it doesn't matter whether you're a big brand or a small brand. If they do a good job of participating there and adding value to the community, I think there is an opportunity. It does take much more time and effort than than most brands and small businesses realize. So a lot of people will start pinning and pinning and pinning, and three months later they realize that no one cares and nobody's following them, and they just give up. So there, <laughs> there is a there is a bit of a ramp up, and the fact is that probably the most benefit that brands get out of Pinterest is the content that others are pushing on there, not what their own accounts are doing. It Really, Absolutely. the e-commerce sites that are getting traffic are getting the most benefit. Yeah, that's the, I mean, Esteban's exactly right. I mean, that's where the real value is, is where, and that's the real value in any kind of social commerce setting. I mean, you know, we, can, we can say it's all about creating great content and getting people to engage with our content, but the, the holy grail of all marketing in social media is to have two customers talking to each other. And Pinterest does that better than any of the other sites because it's two customers talking about products that they like. That's yeah. a fantastic endorsement. And to be able to monetize those endorsements is where brands can can really take off on Pinterest. I have a whole um, pin board dedicated to um, scarves, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I I love the Pinterest. I can't help it. And I would totally buy everything. In fact, it would be really dangerous. I tried to start, I tried to start one for craft beer. <laughs> the craft beer is fantastic, but I got it like two bottles and I'm like, this is way too hard. I, and I'm really, I just really want to go down to the bar and drink my beer. I don't really want to pin about the beer. So You, sh you should follow our host, Mary Jo, if you don't already. So she's <laughs> phenomenal. Um, I love I love pinning everything. So it's actually a weakness for me. I always, I always think of Pinterest as this replacement for... So for all you old timers out there, the old Sears Robux catalog that was the wish book. Well, I think of Pinterest as kind of a wish book, you know, is the the person that you, I always think of Pinterest as the person you want to be, the clothes you want to buy, the meals you want to cook, the things that you want in your life. That's actually maybe how you want to aspire to be, right? I mean, I'm looking yeah. at your right now. And you I'm have an aspirational view. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at your pin board right now, Tanya, and I'm uh -oh. just looking at it going, this is an incredible waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> Tanya, let, let's show my, my pin board. Oh, I want to hear what where, where, Bob thinks about it. Where, where is your pin? Are you following me? Am I following you on Pinterest? If I should be. Uh, it, well, it'll always be slash social nerdia, but we don't have to do that. We don't have time. <laughs> We don't have time. Um, There's always time for Pinterest. But before <laughs> before we get to, I want to talk about, oh, there he is. Oh, look, you've got a picture of Scobalizer. Yeah, he was, he was, you know, you know what? Talking about Facebook, and you guys should watch on uh, the 29th of September, uh, we're releasing a conversation between Leo and Robert about actual Facebook usage and how to better optimize using Facebook. And so he did a really, he had a great conversation when you watched it live. You got to watch live and then you got to watch it uh, when it's posted.